What's going on guys? This is a very much needed video. I got a response and I want to say something and this isn't a direct attack on the individual long lost puss, but I have some things to say about you. First of all, you're very feminine and I don't mean that in a pejorative sense. I mean that from the sense that you don't even want to try. You're scared. Let me go ahead and read the commentary of long lost puss. Only thing is Glendon, you haven't factored in the cost of setting up a viable business that generates the necessary side income of 50K per year. You suggest here including the human time and financial capital required to run that. I'm gonna address that point after I get through reading this. And if it ends up costing you more to set up the business than the money you spent time saving up an emergency fund, then there's a huge error in your math. The average business costs a lot more than 35,000 to set up, which means you spent that safety net gambling on the business. 90% of new businesses startups fail within a year. That's not true. If you lose your job at the point of process, then you got a major problem. Most people then borrow money to try to keep their business going when it puts them in the worst debt position than they were in before they cleared it all to start their business. That's not true. I'm going to say something. I have never started a business with debt. I have never gotten into debt because of my business. You need a lot more money in the bank than 35,000 in my opinion, but how much more depends on what your business plan is going to be. E-commerce is very competitive and saturated market right now and isn't as cheap to get into as most people think. You could start an eBay business for $500 right now. Uh, real estate isn't cheap. Retail stores aren't cheap. Show us some real life business plan templates with actual startup running costs displayed and then we can have a proper discussion. In 2016, I did something called 30 days to 2,500 where I actually showed that stuff and I showed people how to start businesses with no money. Uh, I agree with you that your debt should be cleared, but that in itself doesn't put you on the path to wealth. Your finances should have never been looked like that in the first place. So I replied, uh, my YouTube business costs $500 to set up and didn't invest money in the business for two years. That's fine, but I'm talking about a situation away from YouTube. And this is where we're about to have this conversation. My first business, GC Solutions, which was selling office furniture. Well, this is what I did. I went ahead and I incorporated, I created the LLC GC Solutions, and then this is what I ran the money from JDA of selling their office furniture. The cost of this business that made me $250,000 in less than one year was zero, was actually zero. And that gave me the seed money to start my other businesses. Then my second business, which was an alternative version of GC Solutions, where I started selling new office furniture, uh, I did 1 million, 1.5 million in gross revenue, but because I made a lot of mistakes, I didn't make a good profit. But the startup cost of that business was zero. So I just, all right, so, now we're getting into intellectual property school where I'm going to teach you how to start a low cost business that can make a lot of money. But here's the rub. You're not going to make any money out the gate while you're building it, doing your research and all of setting this stuff up. You're not going to make any money. I'm going to be hundred percent honest with you. That was my experience. When I started this business in August of 2009, I didn't make any money in August. I didn't make any money in September. And I was working eight to 12 hour days in the beginning. And then October, I started making money. And since October 2009, up until today, this business has making me money every month, every month. And what I want to share with you is how to set up a YouTube business, how to set up a podcast, how to set up, how to write a book, how to sell online courses. All of that stuff is going to be in the thing. But once again, listen to me, you will experience delayed gratification. I want you to think right now, I want you to sit down and look at your life the way it is right now. And I got a question for you. Are you happy? Are you happy with the money you make? Are you happy with where you live? Are you happy with what you drive? 
I got a deeper question. Are you happy with the relationship that you have? Because believe it or not, your social economic class plays a big part in who you end up in a relationship with. So what I am going to teach you is how to transcend your social economic class. But once again, you got to go ahead. We've had this conversation before. You got to keep your job. You cannot quit your job. You got to keep your job and you got to keep your job for a hot minute before you get to the point where you can quit your job. And I mark my words, this is probably going to be the best project that I've ever done because you're going to get home economics, which will help you with the blueprint that I put out in the other video. There is a group we're going to be talking. There's so much that's coming. So instead of waiting until July 31st, which is what a lot of you will do, go ahead, jump in now so you can begin to build your future today. First comment links in the description. This gave you one business that I started that made $250,000 for the startup cost of zero. And I gave you another business that I started that made 1.5 million with a startup cost of zero. These businesses are away from YouTube. They're away from e-commerce. These were businesses. See, here's the thing. And this is why I said that this person is moist and very feminine. He is afraid to try. See, this is one of the things that I have consistently on this channel. People want to get into these long arguments with me and they want to put up their theory and conjecture against my practical experience. So my third business, the storage auction business, uh, I spent maybe 25,000 starting that business. But where did I get the $25,000? Oh, I had that from the first business. So I didn't use a credit card. I didn't use a bank loan. I didn't use any of this stuff. So my first business has provided me the seed money for virtually everything that I have done since then. Because once again, I, you know, this whole thing about it takes all of this money and you must go into debt to start a business. That is not true. There are many people here on YouTube who will talk about, you gotta have good credit, you gotta have financing, you gotta have funding. I'm gonna say something that's gonna be very uh, aggressive. Most of the people who are giving you this advice have never started a business with enough cash flow where you don't have to get loans like, I'm about to show you something. These are my credit cards, right? I don't know if it's going to focus, but these are my credit cards. I got a bunch of credit cards. I have a ton of credit cards. I have good credit. Guess what? I do not use my credit for my business. I don't use my credit for my business. You want to know why? because my business has enough cash flow where I don't have to use credit. And see, once again, you should be very careful who you get your advice from because I'm about to say something else that's gonna be very aggressive. I don't feel that the majority of the people on YouTube who are giving business advice actually know how to create a successful business that cash flows enough where they don't have to go into debt. Um, that that model I have that is a model that I've been an entrepreneur for 23 years I've never used a loan to start a business I typically I use my credit cards as debit cards because my businesses once again I've given you GC solutions in the storage auction business these are two businesses that are away from YouTube that were away from YouTube there were high cash flow businesses that were successful that did not take a lot of money. The first two businesses, the first version of GC Solution, the second version of G Solution cost zero money to start. Now, how did I start these businesses that made all of this money without uh, any you know, advanced startup cost? Number one, the reason that my first business, GC Solutions, was successful was it was a business for something that I was already doing. So if you, let's say you are a carpenter, right? 
you work for you work for a builder as a carpenter and you've been doing it for say 10 years and you have a lot of people who know that you're a carpenter know that you do good work and you started reaching out to these people for projects guess what your startup costs are going to be to start that business zero let's say you are a welder you work for a company and you've been working for the company for about 10 years and then you start seeking side projects this is a business i actually know someone who did this this guy was a welder and he started his own company creating um recycling machines for a company in china you know what his startup costs were he had to rent a warehouse he had to get a spot his startup cost was like five thousand dollars and the last time I talked to him, his business did north of $10 million. So once again, to my, to long lost puss, stop being afraid to try. Cause this is one of the biggest issues that I see that so many of you guys are so scared. And also to your credit, there's a lot of people who are giving business advice here on YouTube who actually have no business giving any business advice. Number one, they don't have a business. They don't have a business. And this is one of the things, and this whole thing of real world examples. I have so many people who want to actually, like my, my student, I was having a conversation with my student who started a cleaning company while she had a job. And here's the thing that you guys have got to understand, that people, who are successful, have money, and are living a good life, have no need for social media validation. Now, this is one of the things I'm gonna do for the Intellectual Property School, and this is one of the reasons that I created the uh, Organic Money Group. As we go through this process and people build out their channels, we're gonna actually have interviews of students doing it because so many of you, and this, 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 this once again, this, this is the moist man conversation. So many of you are so afraid to try. You're so afraid to show up. And this is why you live like long lost puss is one of these individuals that is afraid to try. How do I know this? Because he is, firmly convinced, he or she is firmly convinced that what they're saying is valid with no practical experience. You're looking at someone who has made millions of dollars from business without loans, without high startup cost. Like, let me go ahead and just kind of give you a snapshot of what may happen this year. It may happen or it may not happen. I'm going to start running paid ads probably September of October, okay? Because I got a lot of things to do. There are people on YouTube that's just run ads, just run ads. That's very bad information because for you to run ads, you need to know what your avatar is. You need to run experience, experiments. You need to do some testing. You need to, there, there's so many things to just running ads. You've got to create your offer. There, there's a whole bunch of things that you have to do that I haven't done yet that will be done by end of September, beginning of October. And at that point, I will start running ads. Now, at this point, let's go ahead and talk about my uh, business, my online course business. I did six figures last month organically. You know what my operating cost last month for a business that did six figures? $99. Actually, I actually had zero operating costs. Let me break it down for you so it be forever broken. Because I use YouTube as my marketing vehicle, last month, YouTube, which I used to market my online courses, I made $9,500. So if we were to go ahead and crunch the numbers properly, my Marketing, my, my, I had no operational costs for the month of June. Let me say this again. I had no operational costs for the month of June. Let's say I had an employee 
and the employee was paying them 4,000 a month. Guess what? The YouTube revenue generated from my marketing arm would have covered that cost and I still would have had zero operational costs. See, the, the, once again, so many of you guys have got the game twisted and wrong that you do not know how to start a business without smart spending a lot of money. This is something that I have been doing since day one. And instead of arguing with me based upon your theories, based upon your lack of experience, based upon your fear, because you are a scared pussycat. You're scared. You're so scared to try. You're so scared to put yourself out there. You are just trembling with fear, which is very feminine and very moist. So instead of arguing with me, and I just put out a thesis, I just put out a blueprint that if you, once again, cast fear to the side, and if you were to go ahead and activate the plan, three years from now, your life would be better. But once again, people are trying to poke holes because they don't wanna take action. They don't wanna take activity. They don't wanna get busy because Long Lost Puss is a scared individual. I just gave you, once again, I give you proof. You've seen the bank statements. You've seen the ATM receipts. You've seen the Porsche. You've seen the titles. Once again, if you could get away from all of these fake business people, I'm gonna say it, they're fake business people because I created a business model that did not cost me a lot of money that enabled me to earn $350,000 in one month organically and pay cash for a Porsche and BMW. I have shown you that, yet you still refuse to believe because you are scared. You're just afraid, you're trembling, you're like, oh, no, what if it don't work? What if it does work? What if it does work? Because once again, because this person went ahead with these long, because once again, uh, we have a lot of people in America who are spectators. Uh, this is why people like watching porn. Me. I have virtually no interest in watching someone else have sex. I would rather have sex for real myself. I'm not a spectator. Spectator. I'm a technician and I'm a practitioner. You have people who watch people play video games. You have people who watch people who eat mukbang. We have a nation of spectators. So you need to leave the spectator sideline and get into the actual business lane and start getting busy. Because once again, there are so many of you, and I will say, you know, to once again, to long lost puss's credit, there's a lot of conflicting information out here. One of the biggest and most pervasive lies is investors make more money than business owners. I have shown you time and time and time and time again, that ain't true. I made more money in one month. Last month, what I made was more money than someone who's been investing in the stock market for 20 years has captured. After, now check this out. Last month, I spent no money to make that money. There was no investment for me to career six figures in my online business. Yet the person who's been investing in the stock market for 20 years has been dollar cost averaging every month for 20 years. And I made more money in one month than they've made in 20 years collectively. See, there's so many lies. There's so many lies that get in the way of your actual success because one of the things that you guys have got to understand, and one of the things is 90% of businesses fail in the first year. That's not true. If you start a business doing something that you know how to do, your chances of success are about 90%. 
This is where people fail in business. They'll go out and try to do something that they have no clue to how it works. They have no experience. Let's go ahead and examine Emily Weiss. Who's Emily Weiss, you're asking? Emily Weiss is a billionaire that created a cosmetics company. And you know what Emily did? She spent not one, not two, not three, but four years talking to her customer base to figure out what they want. And once she figured out what they wanted, then she created Glossier and they were selling out every time they put out a product because she had did the product and marketplace research for four years. And this woman became a billionaire. But so many of you are stuck on crypto because let me go ahead and say it. Many of you do not feel worthy of success. Many of you have an inferiority complex that prevents you from actually trying, that actually going out and doing the things that you need to do to be successful. Long lost puss is a, pre you know, cause he put up argument, counter argument, and he wants to see someone else deploy this system that I know for a fact works. You wanna know how do I know it works? My life is proof that it works. My life is proof that it works. But you want to keep listening to all of this millionaire game and all of this breathing and huffing and puffing versus dealing with someone who's actually in the trenches who can give you real time information that can give you real time status updates of how to make money. Once again, there are a multitude of businesses that you can start quite cheaply. Number one, and this is the most important thing. Let's say, you know, I've given you the example of a welder. His cost of startup was leasing his warehouse, which was like at the time. And this is how I met him because his warehouse was located around the corner from my warehouse. And he came in when we were having the upscale garage sale and his warehouse was 1500 bucks a month so that was the cost the startup cost of his business that currently makes him 10 million dollars once again if you know how to do something which is really really key because once again this is why um i say that cryptocurrency is dangerous cryptocurrency is a huge time suck there's so many cryptocurrencies, there's so many projects, and you can literally spend 10, 20 hours a week studying crypto projects that pay no dividends. You've been studying, you've been researching where to put your, your, your pennies. And let's talk, we're gonna talk about that. <sighs> let's say you do find a winning crypto project because statistically, you don't make enough money. Let's say, uh, go with Carl Renfeld. Carl Renfeld, who claims to be a billionaire. When Bitcoin was 1100 bucks, he would have needed to spend $10 billion in 2017 to realize a billion dollar net worth when Bitcoin was at its highest level. Shortly after he was a cashier. I call bullshit on that. I don't think the guy's a billionaire. Could he be a millionaire? Absolutely. But once again, there are so many people who are want to believe in these fantasies. The, a friend of mine had this term called a WAS, a wild ass scheme. And you want to believe in this. And I, I'm working on an email that talks about this. Once you get it in your head that you do not have to work hard to make money, guess what? You're not going to work hard. You're going to keep rent seeking and looking for these devices versus going down, getting to work and building a business. You can start a car wash business for less than 500 bucks. A car, I have a friend who owns a car wash. He does uh, 1.8 million a year. You could start uh, a pressure washing business. You could start a resale business in like e-commerce. Once again, uh, you can start an eBay business for less than 500 bucks. Will it be easy? No. But once again, this is where you got to let the moistness go. This is where you have to let the weakness go. This is where you have to let 
the less than a man go because yeah you're, you're gonna have to go through some trials and tribulations i went some trials and tribulations with all of my businesses but i stayed in the frame so this whole lie that you cannot start like i am proof positive that i started a business in 2009 with an investment of 500 bucks did not reinvest in the business for two years that 500 dollars investment yielded me a hundred and almost sixty thousand dollars in two years that 500 hundred dollar investment year three i did 1.5 million from that 500 hundred dollar investment about year seven i started upgrading my equipment upgrading my cameras but at that point i had made over i had made well over two million dollars so my upgrades didn't come from my pocket they came from business revenue and like right now you know my youtube equipment you know including the drone including the cameras probably thirty forty thousand dollars worth of stuff that i didn't pay for the business paid for it i didn't pay for it this didn't come out of my pocket i have a special account that anytime i need to buy something for my business i just go to that account and pull it because that money was already generated by the business. So literally, let's just say my YouTube business took me um, $35,000 to start. I've made close to $15 million. Not a bad investment, not a bad investment. So once again, do not come at me with these counter arguments based in number one, fear. Number two, no experience. I can read through this. He has not even tried to start a business. He has not even tried to start a business. And I have people who will argue me all day in the comments about how this isn't possible without even trying, without even trying. And I, I get this all of the time from the weak, moist men. And once again, I say that because it is not traditionally masculine to be afraid to try. And this is a huge, huge problem. Huge, huge problem. Many of you will see an attractive woman and will not even approach her because of fear. This is a statistical fact. And when I come up here talking about the results that I got because I have the balls to go up and talk to a woman, you don't want to believe it because I look like this without even trying. There was years and years ago, there was a guy named Brian Flowers. He was uh, in um, Bravo Company in the 25th Infantry the Med Battalion. And Brian was um, tall and skinny, okay looking. And we go to the club and Brian would just straight up go to women. It's like, hey, you want to fuck? Straight up. Brian would approach three to four women before he would find one that would say yes. Now, Brian is on the scale of boldness is an extreme example. But I learned from watching Brian that, you know, I mean, dang, if he's just going to walk up to a woman and ask her that, if I just go up and start asking, you know, I remember years and years ago i was at in waikiki uh, every now and then i would just go get a hotel and i would stay in waikiki and i remember i was doing this one weekend and there was this there was these three white women sitting at a table and i just went over and the one i liked i just started spitting my game and we ended up spending the weekend together because i wasn't afraid so many of you are so afraid. You're so afraid to even try. So once again, long lost puss, this is my rebuttal to your, you know, and I, if I have to block you, I will, because we're not gonna keep having this conversation. You're not gonna put your fear and lack of experience against my 23 years of getting results. See, th this is why I come at you like this. For 23 years, I have been getting results. I've been getting money. And you guys want to come at me with theory and conjecture. Not practical experience. 
I have started multiple businesses without spending a lot of money that have made me a lot of money. It can be done if you're willing to do the work. That's now what does the work look like? Once again, in the video I put up the other day, which a lot of people are not paying attention to because they don't want to do the work. They don't want to keep their job, start a business on the side and then make all this money and not spend it. That is not exciting. It's like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. This is why the Instagram accounts with people driving Lambos and live, doing these exotic trips and stuff are so seductive because you want to create the money and you want to spend the money. You, you don't want to have any delayed gratification, none whatsoever. So that's why that video isn't appealing, but I guarantee you it will work if you do the work. So you got a, you got a, you got a choice here. Um, three years from the day, your life can be exactly as it is now, or it can be significantly better. What you gonna do? What are you going to do?